Hello everybody and welcome. As we like to do every week, we like to take a look at the past week's market activity and then kind of bounce around the market and look for something to trade. Well, as I say every week, we always look at the market and at least in the last few weeks, nothing seems to change since what about uh, mid-April, so the last two months, the market's been on a screamer up to the top and because of that, you can see volatility is obviously taking a dive way down here at six. Obviously zero is the lowest. So six is pretty much meaning that there's no volatility in the market and everything is honky dory. And of course, as we like to do, we always like to look at all the different indices, but they usually look fairly similar. The NASDAQ seems to be even more of a screamer, although the volatility is slightly higher. But again, on a tear, the only one that's bucking the trend is IWM, the Russell. Obviously, this thing has gone nowhere. If you look back, it's basically where it was in February. So the last four months, it's gone nowhere, which means volatility. And this one is much higher. And you can see way higher, right? This is way up at 77. So we'll look to trade this one maybe next week. ETFs are always easy to trade. So it's always easy to kind of pop into this neck of the woods. But um, while there's stocks to trade, I'll just go into the stocks. So what are we going to trade this week? Well, we're going to look at United Airlines. You can see this thing has been kind of bouncing around, but in the last few days, it's really taken a dive. And because of that, volatility has shot up way high, 82, which in this market of no volatility is super high. Now, this over here is earnings. So if we scroll over that, you'll see it says earnings are on 717 after the market closes, which means opening on 718 is when the effect's going to take the effect of the earnings is going to take place. So if we're going to make a trade, we're going to want to close it by 717. So if I go to the trade page, you can see whoa, you can see over here what these tell me right here this June that means it expires June 21st. So these are the expiration. These are the days to expiration, but this is the actual date of the expiration. So as I mentioned, earnings is on June, I'm sorry, July 17th. So right here you see these with 33 days left, which would be 32 tomorrow, which is still in our wheelhouse. We like to be 30 days. These are going to expire on June 19th. I mean, sorry, July 19th. So all we're going to do is close this no matter what on July 17th. If we don't make our profits by July 17th, we're absolutely closing this trade because July 18th earnings are going to come out and anything can happen. And there's only two days left in our trade. So obviously, it'll have a big effect. It'll be a big loser or a big winner. So worst case scenario, July 17th, we're closing this trade. But you can see it's going to expire just a couple days after earnings. We will close beforehand. So I've already set this thing up to save us the trouble. And what I've done is here's the stock. We'll just for ease of math say it's 50. So we're going $5 up on the call side, $5 down on the put side. Now in this case, above 55, the strike prices start to shift. You can see they go 250 wide. So there is no 57 call in this expiration cycle. It's 57 and a half, which means this is 250 wide. On the put side, it is single digit strike. So I can go as far as close as I want to. So in this case, I'm going to stick with my $2 wide iron condor on the put side. And I'm going to make it 250 wide on the call side. So what does that mean as far as the credit I'm looking to receive? Well, we always look at the widest part. If we can't make it exactly equal, the widest part of iron condor is the one that sets the parameters. Meaning, in this case, remember, the minimum we're looking for is $0.33 cents per dollar width in strikes. These are 250 wide, which means we want to collect around 82 cents or more. I think it's 82 and a half if you work it out, but that puts us right here. So, and remember, just for ease of math, oh no, that's okay. We usually go for 30 to 40, 33 to 40 cents per dollar width, but with iron condors, we can go up to 50, so this is fine. So, again, as long as this is, let's say, 82 or 83 cents or more. This iron condor is perfect. So for our trade tomorrow in UAL, because volatility is so high, stock price, if it stays right here tomorrow, we're going to go $5 up and down on the call and put side, then create a $2 to 250 wide iron condor, and look to collect 82 to 83 cents or more to make this a valid trade. 
So that is our trade tomorrow. Hello, everybody. Just a quick break in action here to make you all aware of the courses I have available on Udemy, which are these five. But more importantly, to let you know that these three right here are a three-part series. So if you're anywhere in the mix here, now you know that Understand Options Completely is part one, Basic Option Strategies is part two, and Make and Manage is part three. So you can start or continue at any level you like. The bottom two here can be taken at any time. They are just independent courses. If they interest you, please go ahead and take them. So you've got some knowledge now, and we know knowledge is power. But really, knowledge is only power if you use it. Otherwise, it's useless. So how do you take all this option trading knowledge and turn it into actual income? And the only way to do that is by actually trading options. As someone that's gone through the process, I know that making real trades is scary for many reasons. Not the least of which is, where do I even start? I mean, there's so many roadblocks to making trades. What stock should I trade? What direction should I choose? Which options am I buying or selling? The list seems endless, which is exactly why I created my option income alert system. So don't you think you'd be a little bit more comfortable and confident if I was right there by your side making trades with you? Where well, now I will be there with my real-time alerts. You'll trade side by side with me in real time as I tell you what trade to make, why we're making the trade, and more importantly, how to make the trade correctly. But making the trade's only half the battle. When to close the trade is just as important. So you'll get those closing alerts as well. Listen, you've got the knowledge now, so let's put it to use. So how do we turn your knowledge into actual income with as little risk as possible? Well, the way we do that is by offering up the option alert for only $1 for the first month. Now, the option alert itself is going to send out two to three trades in real time as I make them via text or email directly to you. And as I close these trades, you'll also get those closing alerts in real time as well. Now, if you want an even better opportunity, the Option Pro, which is the exact same alert service as the Option Income, offers up all the content I've ever made, courses, webinars, etc., over $2,000 worth of options courses for only $19 for the first month. So the way we're going to sign up for either of these is by going to sharpertrades.com, clicking on the product section. Both of these alerts will show up. Depending on which one you prefer, you'll type in these coupon codes, and you'll either get the option alert for a dollar for the first month or the option pro for only $19 for the first month. Look forward to seeing you all over there soon. Take care.